Shalom, Salam. In the previous segments, I would say the past two, maybe three or four segments, we talked about the gradual uh, contrast of true Christianity as a spiritual way of life. And that is from the original Messianic Hebrew Israelite faith or the original Messianic Judaic faith to the first Orthodox Christianity based off original Orthodox Judaic Christianity as a way of life as opposed to modern corporate Christianity that image of the beast as opposed to the original teachings of the true Christ or the true Messiah or Mashiach that is Yehoshua or Yeshua HaMashiach aka Yesus Christos A.K.A. Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ, the true savior of all humanity, as opposed to the counterfeit you know, image of the beast, that antichrist, or that antichrist influenced spirit in the earth, are bringing that counterfeit Christianity, which most people today in Babylon, here in the Western Hemisphere, and even throughout the world know as modern, you know, modern corporate Christianity, which is a shame but however we've talked enough about the contrast of these two in the past couple of segments and uh, I want to say to touch up on some things based off false doctrines the uh, false doctrines and false perceptions of actual scripture from the true word of God Elohim or Jah word you know from the Bible um, any churches that are caught up in well, you have to work your way back into the sanctuary, whether it be a so-called church or a so-called, you know, kingdom hall. Well, you have to work your way back up into having proper fellowship with the rest of the of the church or, or the group. You know, you were caught smoking pot, you were caught dealing, and you were caught drinking, and, you know, you haven't really been living as a true Christian or a true whatever, I'm not going to call out any particular denominations or churches, but, you know, as for right now, you have to sit behind this glass window and kind of work your way back up, because it's all based off your works, you know, in order, according to our law, or our perception on God's law, to work your way back into the church, or, or, or the hall, you know, to the fellowship of, of the people, you know, that is not based off the original Torah. It is not based off the true teachings of the true Christ or the true Messiah, Yeshua. But that is straight up legalism and pharisaical teachings that turn people away from the actual truth and the light. Also, you know, having to be baptized ritually, literally in order to be saved, that's that's a cult. Um, having to you know, date somebody or marry somebody from a particular denomination is not relevant. Marrying somebody in the universal, you know, true body of Christ or Mashiach is relevant. You know, we must be equally yoked or spiritually yoked, you know, equally. But uh, once again, these are things that turn people away from the truth. So don't let these false doctrines of, you know, influenced by that Antichrist spirit or modern forms of so-called Christianity turn you away from the actual light and truth of about anti-semitism anti-semitism is an oxymoron I come seeking retribution well don't let this hypocrisy turn you away from the actual truth with the right interpretation of Jah word or of the actual Holy Bible, the book of life, you will find out that it is not boring. The Holy Bible is anything but boring. Now, another thing wrong with modern corporate Christianity 
or counterfeit Christianity is the concept on judging other people whether they're going to hell. You know, damning people to hell, trying to play the ultimate judge, Almighty God, is not righteous. It's not justified. As a matter of fact, even modern Christendomites can't deny the simple facts of Christ's basic teachings in the gospel. Do not judge. You know, do not be judges with evil hearts. That is up for the Almighty to judge. We had better make sure that we ourselves are walking the true path of righteousness according to the original Torah, according to Yahweh's commandments of uh, Yahweh or Jah word. We better make sure we as true born again believers and disciples of the new covenant are keeping the actual teachings of the Moshiach or of Christ. You know, so let's not play judge. As a matter of fact, although there may be a dimension or, you know, in fact, is a dimension of heaven and hell for most people as far as human beings on this earth. Uh, heaven and hell is right here on earth. You know, hell is an actual suffering in this same physical realm as well as, you know, a slice of heaven or a slice of Mount Zion on earth. Looking forward to the day of resurrection when the heavenly kingdom or spiritual kingdom returns to the earth. The actual prophecy of the ancient prophets and even the Messiah himself being the fulfillment of prophecy of, you know, the king of kings, his imperial majesty, you know, the resurrection of the true uh, Yeshua, Hamashiach, the true Christ. But... Um, you know, although to be absent from the flesh is to be with the Father in this present life as far as the actual spiritual kingdom of heaven until the great day of judgment and resurrection upon the earth. We're speaking of the second world age. So in Revelations, we speak of two actual resurrections. But only the, the true chosen amongst the chosen are Yahweh, chosen people. True as disciples are going to be in that number of the true anointed or the true body of, of Christ. Okay, so let's not get this twisted. Alright, but to judge people, you know, so and so is going to hell if they're not saved, if they're not baptized in our church, if you're not living righteous as a, as a good Christian should. And yet these are the people that are caught up in their own thorns judging you as a true Christ man or a true disciple in Yahweh's kingdom. Now, of course, you have the false perception of. Um, spiritual vanity and materialism twisting the concept of prosperity or spiritual prosperity you know increasing the finances can always be a blessing from the Most High Jah no doubt about that but when you twist it around to where you're twisting actual scripture for example from the book of Malachi about prosperity and saying that when it comes to tithes and offerings which are you know relevant to a true Christian church body however 